When the revolution started in Syria, I was 15 years old. 15 years old, not aware of politics or um, of dictatorship or democracy. I didn't know what that meant at that time. But I just remember thousands of people on the streets asking for freedom and dignity. And that sounds like nothing wrong. So I joined these people, protested, and things started to go wrong when the police arrived. The police started to arrest people and kill people. Among them was my friends, and I was taken to prison. During my time in prison, my family, part of my family was killed in a massacre. During my time in prison, my beloved ones died. Um, but at the same time, during my time in prison, I learned most of what I learned in my life. It's, it's, I'm waking up to the world in prison. Prison has taught me for the first time what freedom meant. Because I, when, during my time there, I lost everything. Every possibility of freedom was taken away. So that's when I realized what freedom meant and how important freedom was. So when I got out of prison three years later, I realized that I have a role to play. Act like you understand your position of power. You sitting in the Security Council, not in a carousel in Disneyland. I have to be on the street asking for freedom because without this freedom, I feel like I will always be prisoner even though I'm outside the bars. The fact that I survived prison is based on the fact that people cared about me. People cared about me in the beginning because I was young. And that was the worst feeling ever. And people say, oh, little Omar. I hate that. When you're 16, 17, you really want to be strong, right? You don't want to be treated like you are a little boy. So firstly, people were kinder to me because I was younger, but also people invested in me because I was younger. So they will teach me everything they know in case they die. I can, that's their legacy. That's why it's important to invest in people in, in middle school, high school, university. You and you and everyone. Those are the people that try to build their understanding of the world and based on that understanding they will act. They will act in the future. It's, gonna wanna, it's, it's the thing that's going to change how the future will look like. We're trying to build the right narrative. Basic story. People of Syria went out to the street asking for freedom. The government faced them with violence. People want freedom and justice. That's it, that's the story of Syria. It's not more complicated. And so many people once told me, if you get out, tell our stories. So maybe someone can help us. So it's a personal responsibility at this, at this point that I, I, I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I'm not trying to help the people who needs my help.